What's up? This is Homjack once again, and we are playing some Halo 3 ODST today. Yay. This game is three years old today, and uh, I'm just going to talk about my first impressions playing it and stuff like that. A couple of videos ago, I did this for Reach, and so if you missed that, you can watch that if you feel like it. But for ODST, this is an interesting game because it seems like a lot of people either love it or hate it, and I loved it. I mean, the music kicked ass, uh, I liked the story, the, the way they told it, it was kind of, uh, kind of a departure from the original Halo trilogy, it was less in-your-face action and kind of mysterious, um, but I think Bungie pulled that off pretty well, so... When I first played it, um, I was playing it like in the dark in my room with very few distractions, so it's all, like almost ideal conditions. Sounds like I'm talking about weather, but yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, I like the way they told the story with, you know, the rookie at night, you know, he's separated from his squad and he finds these clues which lead you to the you know the next mission each time where you play as one of the other ODSTs and that's how they work in some of the bigger action scenes in those flashback missions so that was cool and then at the end it kind of gets tied back together with all of the ODSTs reuniting and trying not to get blown up by the Covenant. Now the characters themselves, uh, I didn't think were that great, as kind of like, I don't know, whenever you have AI Marines with you in Halo, they've always kind of just been there for comic relief, relief in part. Um, you know, they're not very good at killing things, they're not really serious characters. And I felt like the ODSTs were just an extension of that with some more backstory, a little bit of personality, but, you know, I still didn't feel like I really cared about them. You know, and Dare was fucking annoying, so just want to get that out there. Now, ODST didn't just have the campaign, introduced Firefight for the first time, and... That was pretty cool. I, I feel like it was more fun in ODST than it was in Reach. Even though Reach had more options, it felt like you were just going through and slaughtering as much Covenant as you could. In ODST, it had much more of a survival feel to it. I'm not really sure why, but yeah, just that was just my impression of it there. I definitely remember doing the achievements for getting... Uh, getting 200,000 points on each firefight map in ODST. That was fun, and then of course it had the Vidmaster achievements where after you've, you've done all of them, you unlocked Recon Armor for Halo 3 multiplayer. Back when Recon was all the rage. And I'm sure some people have stories of attempting um, Endure especially. I think that was the firefight one where you had to complete four sets or something in four-player co-op. Uh, I remember trying to do that a few different times with different people. And I finally did it like the summer before Reach came out, so I got my recon armor. Another thing I remember people saying about ODST was you know, it wasn't really a full game. It should have. It shouldn't have been sixty bucks, like a full game. But I figure it had its own campaign, brought in firefight. It also had all of the Halo Three multiplayer maps on one disc, including all DLC. So that was pretty convenient. And then, if for anyone who hadn't already bought DLC, they were basically getting new maps, so seems like a good deal. And then on top of all that, your ODST disc was your key to the Reach beta once that came out. You put all, th all those things together, 
I would say it was it was worth it. But of course, now you could probably pick it up for like 10, 15 bucks if you, uh, for some reason, have not played it and are still watching this video. But yeah, all in all, I liked ODST a lot. It was different from the previous Halo games, but still really well done. And I'm gonna leave this sweet cutscene in in case you want to watch it. I always like cutscenes. This one is violent though, so if you're like five years old, you shouldn't watch it. Get her! Get this thing off of me! How bad? Not good. We're gonna get you out of here. Not by air, we're not. That's all right. I know another way. <laughs> 